Hi, I'm Ray from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about explaining all the different types of cloth nappies, their features and benefits, which are easier, which might suit you better, because if you have started looking into cloth nappies, you might realize that it is a bit of a minefield. So today's video will totally demystify all the cloth nappy stuff and explain to you what you're buying really and let you know what you need to get in order to get started. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Ree. I blog at mummyof4.com. I would love, love, love you to subscribe so you can get new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. And if you hit the bell, you'll get a little notification when those videos go live. So this is a video within the cloth nappy series. The rest of the videos I will pop up in the cards now so you can check those out too. Before we go into the different types of nappies, I wanted to speak briefly about sizing of nappies. There are two main ways of sizing nappies. There are sized nappies, as in you buy a certain size of nappy for babies of a certain weight range, and then when they grow up to the next weight range, you buy the next size, or there are birth to potty nappies which grow with your baby. Now, birth to potty nappies are slightly deceiving in the name in that they tend to fit babies from about 10 pounds in weight, and not a lot of babies, luckily, are born at 10 pounds. So, so often they will need to be a different newborn solution before a birth to potty. But we can get into that more later in this series. So now we've covered sizing and different types of nappies would come with different types of sizing, but they're generally one of those two, either sized or birth to potty. The first type of nappy we're going to look at is a shaped nappy. So this, as you might guess from the name, is a nappy that is in the shape of a nappy, like a disposable nappy would be, but the whole thing is reusable and absorbent. Now obviously, if you put a shaped nappy like that on a baby with nothing else, it's gonna leak everywhere because this is absorbent and it will transfer to their clothes. So what you need to go with a shaped nappy is a nappy cover, which is the second type of nappy that we are looking at. So this is waterproof. I love this kind, this is a blueberry wrap um, because it's got like a leg gusset on it, which goes around your baby's leg to kind of prevent leaking. Um, so these, are come in loads of different pretty colors um, and as long as there's no poop on it you can change the inside of this nappy which would be the shaped part a couple of times before changing the outside so if you want to use a shaped nappy you are going to need to have a nappy wrap to go with it now personally i've always found this combination amazing for nighttime because there is so much absorbent material in that combined with the nappy wrap it just makes it kind of bomb proof when it comes to leaks so these are always my kind of go-to nighttime nappy you can use them in the day as well but they can be a bit bulkier and then um, what i found is i prefer to use a different type of nappy in the day and have lots of different patterns and things and they're kind of a bit slimmer which is kind of nice when they're moving around a little bit more rather than having the super bulky nappy but certainly if you need your child to stay dry for longer periods of time such as at night this might be the option for you the next type of nappy we're going to look at is an all-in-one nappy and again this does what it says on the tin in that everything you need is already kind of in one piece with this nappy so basically the all-in-one nappy has everything you need all stuck together so you can grab it out the washing machine and then once that goes back inside the pocket section, ta-da, nappy is just about ready to go. Now you can add boosters and liners to these. I will talk about boosters and liners and inserts in a separate video because that is a whole load of information. Um, but yes. Basically, the all-in-one nappy is the closest thing to a disposable in the grab-and-go kind of sense that you're going to get. Next type of nappy I'm going to talk about is an all-in-two nappy. The all-in-two nappies are very much like the all-in-one nappies, other than they come apart into two parts. So when this poppered together, it's basically an all-in-one nappy until you do that. Pretty much the only difference. The next type of nappy I'm going to talk about is a pocket nappy and the pocket nappies 
form about 90% of my cloth nappy collection. A pocket nappy is a little bit like the nappy wrap, only it has an actual pocket in which to stuff the absorbent core. So whereas this is just a waterproof kind of shell to go over a shaped nappy, which is the absorbent bit, the pocket nappy has the waterproof side and then the pocket into which you stuff your inserts and boosters, which are the absorbent bits, um, which again, I will link to the separate inserts, liners and boosters video to explain all of the different options. Some of the pocket nappies come with inserts and boosters, some do not, depends what you're buying. But in essence, that's the difference with the pocket nappy. You fish out the bits that you want, you choose what you want to stuff it with, and then you stuff it and that is ready to go. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I spend quite a lot of evenings stuffing cloth nappies. There are two ways to do it. You can stuff them out, like as you go, you can just sort of grab all the different pieces and stuff them before every bum change, or you can do what I do and pre-stuff them and store them like this. Um, I certainly find with things like pocket nappies, these are so easy to use if they are pre-stuffed. Little bit of a faffy pain if you're kind of doing them, finding all the bits and assembling them as you go, but that is entirely up to you how you'd rather work it. The last type of nappy that I would like to talk about is a pre-fold nappy, which is basically a large piece of absorbent fabric which is folded into the shape of a nappy. Um, this is the kind of nappy that your nana would remember and they used to secure them together with a nappy pin. Nowadays you'd probably use something like a nappy nipper which um, holds the nappy together. Again, a pre-fold is going to need to be covered by a waterproof outer wrap to stop all the wee-wee soaking into your baby's clothes. The pre-fold and outer wrap solution is a really good cheap way to cloth nappy your tiny newborn baby until they are big enough to fit into your birth to potty types. Bonus nappy, the last type of nappy I actually want to talk about is a swim nappy. Now these are great even if you are not cloth bumming full time. They are purely the kind of protective outer layer um, with no absorbent section because obviously that would just soak up the swimming pool. These are basically to stop poop floating off into the pool if your baby's in the pool. That's it. The other option you have if you don't want to buy specific swim nappies is to use a pocket nappy with no inserts in it or indeed a nappy wrap. Any of these would do the same trick in just stopping poop flow away in the swimming pool. If you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. If you click the box down below you will see the rest of the cloth nappy series that will take you through all the other elements you need to consider about why I started cloth nappies, about inserts, liners, boosters, how to store them, wash them, dry them, all that good stuff is all gonna be answered in that series. So go check it out.